uh, somehow managed to remain in the very vivid interest of uh, art critics, uh, art critics as well as large uh, published in Poland and uh, abroad. And the question is why? Why has Wada Buri to be a kind of natural choice for um, such, a, such a great idea of uh, showing the uh, residences of the European uh, Council? And somehow I believe that there are some reasons for Edward Burling to be uh, really special and to be uh, this natural uh, choice. Uh, uh, first of all, he was uh, an artist who was uh, witnessing important political changes and uh, this was uh, very present in his uh, paintings. So uh, he was one of those painters who would uh, paint, uh, who would take the brushes in his uh, hands, uh, take the palette into his hands in order to change the world for better. This is why I believe that it's really great to talk about him in the European Parliament. Um, another idea about Edward Burnick, which is quite important for the reception of his art, is uh, in, uh, the grounds that he's taking from both classical artists, the biggest masters of the art history, like uh, Titian, uh, like um, uh, Gustave Courbet, uh, but also another master, who for Edward Wurnick is very important, um, Nikifor. He was a self-taught Polish artist uh, who somehow, through his fragility, who, through his uh, sensibility, was able to, uh, to tell quite a lot within his art. So here we have Edward Wurnick, a perfectly academic painter, a very a, a graduate from a very prestigious art academy and a very successful painter who somehow draws the inspiration from a self-taught uh, artist, uh, um, Nikifor. And um, there is still another thing about Edward Dvornik's paintings. One of the most important series in his art is the so-called hijacking series in which he represents uh, towns that he um, visits and somehow I really believe that it's really great to show Edward Dvornik here in Brussels, a city which uh, can permit us a lot of parallels with the art of uh, the biggest uh, Belgian artist of all time, uh, Bruegel. Bruegel, in uh, whose art um, a human being, a social life, political life and cultural life was very much into. Um, in the core of it. So you can visit uh, uh, the rear room of the Royal Museum of uh, Musée Royal de Beaux-Arts in Brussels um, in order to have a short encounter with the paintings by Bruegel and somehow probably it's really strong to, to have to feel those parallels with Edward Dvornik who uh, somehow really translates human beings and human needs into uh, his art. So a perfect choice for a perfect place and for a perfect city for making things better. And as always with great artists, great artists need great patrons. So again, thank you very much for hosting this exhibition.